In today's video, I'll give you six amazing vanilla tips on how to avoid traffic congestion in city skylines. These are powerful but simple tips which can be implemented even if you are a beginner player. Ah yes, traffic. If in real life or in the game, we don't want it. But you know what's even better than fixing traffic congestions? Preventing them from happening in the first place. Separate industrial traffic. The probably best tip to prevent traffic congestions in the long run of your city is to separate your industrial traffic from your commuter traffic. This means that you want to have a separate entrance and exit from your industrial area to your highway. This is really important because otherwise the trucks from out of town wanting to do business with your industry will have to drive through your city clogging up the roads in the process. Avoid four-way intersections. Try to avoid four-way junctions as much as possible. Make use of T-intersections instead. One less road that connects means less cars wanting to drive through the intersection. If you want to take this tip to the next level, you can combine T-junctions with one-way roads, making it even less likely to clog up. This does take some planning, since you want to have a good road layout where all the areas in your city are easily reachable, but you'll be amazed about how much this actually helps. Road Hierarchy Implement road hierarchy into your road design. The basic hierarchy is highways, arterials, collectors, and local roads. The highways are for moving traffic at high speed. The arterials are expected to carry large volumes of traffic into your city. The collectors collect traffic from the arterials and distribute it to local roads. And the local roads are for low volume traffic. This system will help to disperse your traffic properly and not congest your city with traffic. Traffic lights. Another good tip I can give you is to turn off the traffic lights on intersections. This is especially important when you have avenue roads as your arterial roads. Be aware that whenever you connect a road to an existing avenue, the game will automatically create a traffic light at that connection. The problem is that red lights slow down traffic, of course. If we see the avenue as our arterial road, we definitely want priority for that road. You can simply go to the info views, click the traffic routes button, and go to traffic lights. Here you can turn them off by clicking on them. You can also add stop signs to the roads connecting to give priority to the avenue. Lane Mathematics this is a term populated by Biffa, and if you don't know who Biffa is, you should definitely check him out here on YouTube. Lane maths are basically what applies to real-life highways as well. You want to help the traffic AI sort cars more intelligent and improve the traffic flow in your city. In general, you could say the incoming lanes and outgoing lanes should be equal at all highway junctions. For instance, you want to have three lanes splitting off into two lanes and one off-ramp, and the same goes for the other way around. Two lanes plus the on-ramp merge into three lanes. That way cars merge smoother and don't have to queue up to merge. You also have dedicated turning lanes. Zoning. One thing you always have to keep in mind is that not only do your residents want to go to shops in the city, but those shops also need to get deliveries by your industry. So whenever you plan your road layout, also plan for a good and smooth connection from your industry to your commercial zones. When starting out, for instance, it's a good idea to have commercial in between your residential and industrial zones simply so deliveries can be made with ease and your citizens can reach the shops just as easily. And with all this knowledge on traffic, I believe the best video you could possibly watch right now is how the demand works in City Skylines. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye!